We're back talking Noidex today. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome Sunday subscribers. My name is Katie. If this is the first time that you are seeing me, then welcome. But if this is not the first time you're seeing me, then of course, welcome back, love. So it's been a couple of weeks since I did this video. And I said that I would come back in a couple of weeks time to do like a feedback, basically see what the community is saying about it. So this is this video, basically. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so I apologise now if it ends up being really, really short, but I may give you an extra video on Wednesday, so if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe now so that you can get the notification, because I don't usually bring out videos midweek, but it might be something that some new subscribers might be interested in. I don't know. Feel free if you want. So... I have been looking at the comments on my video. There hasn't been many people who have either gone and tried it and come back to give feedback or have just genuinely given some sort of feedback that will help, really. But there has been some comments. I've also looked over on Reddit as well. Um, so we're going to go over some of the comments. Now, I would have liked to have pulled up reddit for you um but there's a big old picture of some of it so what i'm gonna do is i'll put it up and scroll down past the picture of what it is however i will link the entire post to what i'll be looking at so if you wanted to you'd be able to pull up that page and be able to look at what i'm looking at but i just i can't put it up on youtube they're just gonna say no it's a big fat, big fat flower so but first of all, we will talk about the comments left on my YouTube video. We had a comment from Buff Bill 5909 Thank you very much, Buff Bill. And he says, had some arrived this morning and was a bit worried it would be like some of the shite Tilray produce. Really surprised as the quality is the same as other Noidex products. I haven't personally had Noidex products, so it's nice to hear. Bill carries on and says, nice dense buds with a spicy slash peppery smell. Effects wise, it does the job for me personally and is better than most of the more expensive strains I've tried over the last year or so. Like you say, hopefully this could be a turning point for the industry and they stop taking the piss with prices. And of course, Bill was referencing just the comments in my video. So if you haven't seen it, obviously... There it is, and I will link it at the end of here, but for most of you, you have already seen it, so you know what we are talking about here. So that's nice to see. We're seeing dense buds, which is great to see, great to hear. Spicy, peppery smell, and effects-wise, it does the job. So for £3.95, Buff Bill 5909 has got himself a decent bit of medicine there. There was another YouTube comment from longtime subscriber WalesU.K.2108. And he says, This is so good to see. The costs are just crippling right now. I've had Noidex flowers before and they are really good. So there's two comments on the YouTube channel who have mentioned that Noidex flowers they've had before and they've been really good. I can't comment on this because I haven't had it, right? So I'm just letting you know what we're seeing here, right? I have not had it myself. However, I would like to, like I would like to try some, uh, but my clinic does not work with dispensary green. I'm gonna flip over to Reddit now. So remember, if you want to look at the picture that I have just scrolled past um, and you cannot see it, but it is at the top of that screen, then of course, just go to the link that I have linked in the description and you are able to see it. So this is a comment that goes off of this person from Reddit, the original poster, as you can see here, Harry Dan B. Um, they put up a picture of the Noidex Vital £3.95 strain that we've just been talking about. And to tell you the truth, it looks all right. Like, it actually genuinely looks all right. Like, again, I can't show you here, but you can go ahead and look on the Reddit post yourself. And I think it looks decent, right? I think it looks decent. And this is what the, the conversation thread is. I grabbed Tenji as well, half the price and works just as good. New addition to the monthly scripts for sure. OP, yeah, same pleasantly surprised. Let's see how long it stays in stock. Great 
great comment. Uh, somebody else looks decent for the price. Any Terps OP, a tad muted, but a little bit of citrus, I'd say. Trying shortly. Initially, I'm impressed for the price. It's looking good. Let's hope medicinally it does the job. Commenter back. Hopefully it helps uh, with your conditions. Keep us updated. Another commenter, I've just got some of this and vaped a little. It's immediately reduced my anxiety massively. Plus, I've been feeling rough after a horrible throat infection and antibiotics less weak. And I feel less no and I feel less nauseous. Always struggle with that word. I like it. OP, it's surprisingly good. Popped Bavida pack in last night. So this was a popular comment that putting a Bavida packet in was definitely the way forward. Um, and then somebody else says, what pharmacy is stocking this? OPDG, which is dispensary green. Um, and then, so, yeah, I've got to be very careful where we go up there. So, looking at this conversation and looking at the picture, people seem to be very pleasantly surprised with the quality um, and the price, obviously. Like, this is the main thing, right? The price is very, very cheap. And this is what I want to bring up another point as well, right? So there was another comment on my YouTube video that wasn't necessarily to do with feedback about the strain. Um, and the comment was, I bet everything I own that this will be some of the worst quality medical to ever come on the market. There's a reason it's so cheap. This comment has 32 likes, right? So there might be more now, but at, at the time of me screenshotting this, that comment had 32 likes. And I just want to comment on that comment. So I get that £3.95 is like ludicrously cheap, right? Because of what we've been paying. So people are immediately go into the fact that it's going to be shit. So why would you bother? My question to you is, people complain about the £8.50 and above prices, even £5.50, some, some people can complain. So why, when we actually are being listened to, right, clinics are listening to us and being like, we need to bring the price down, we need to bring the price down. But why immediately do people just go, oh, well, it's, it, they've brought the price down, so it's shit. You're fucking asking for the clinics to bring the price down. So they are bringing the price down. But immediately you're like, nah, shit. Without even trying it, I don't agree with this type of narrative. I just don't get it. Like, we're screaming for more affordable flour. So clinics are coming out with more affordable flour. But patients are just being like, nah, it's shit then, isn't it? Because it's, it's, it's nothing. It's not like green carrot. How the fuck do you know? Like, how the fuck do you know? What if this is actually the start of clinics going, oh, okay, that's actually decent. People actually really like it. That's on par with some of the £6.50 strains. We need to up our game. So what's going to happen when you start getting three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strains available on the market that are £3.50? Are you just not going to have them? Are you just not going to try them at all because they're 350? So in your head, they're shit, right? Do you know what? Fine, don't. Because then you know what? It means that there'll be much more stock available for everybody else that actually does want to try it because they've got fuck all money and they're willing to take that chance. Do you know what I mean? Me personally, I would have taken that chance. £3.95 for 10G. I'd have just got myself 10 fucking G. It's not that bad, is it, right? Like I said, get yourself something else but try it. And I'm really, really pleased to see that there are people that have tried it. Um, so I'd like to try it again, but I can't. So we're going to hope that clinics listen to what we're saying just like this. And they start bringing out other flowers with the same sort of price range. Because this comment is exactly right. Prices are crippling and we need them to come down. But how are clinics going to get the word out if all patients are going to do is just be like, well, it's shit, I ain't going to bother. I don't know. That's just my thoughts in it. Like, let me know what you think in the comments about this. Like, do you immediately think that it's shit because it's £3.95? Do you understand where I'm coming from where people are screaming to the clinics to get it cheaper? So then clinics bring out affordable, like, flour and then people are like, oh, no. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sound off in the comments. I would love to know what you think about this. Have you tried it now? Is there any updates? Like, let me know. And until the next time, guys, make sure you like the video. Obviously, if you want to, you don't have to, but it does help the YouTube algorithm and helps my channel get found, basically. Much love. I hope you enjoyed this small little update. I know it was a bit weird and I was a bit short, but that's all I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next week. And I'm thankful and I'm for the fans and love the listeners. Yeah, and I'm thankful even for the ones that don't believe in us.